Hi guys, you were just hearing uh, the verse from uh, my song Demons, which is now out and available for download, um, and the link is posted below in the description of this video. Anyway, uh, it incorporates a lot of harmonics, um, and that's what I wanted to show you today, was just uh, some of the concepts that are used in the song, uh, and the tabs as well will be up in the member area on my site. Uh, Alright, so let's just check that out. Uh, basically, in this song we're using the harmonics between the 3rd and the 7th fret. So, um, basically all of these harmonics are going to be utilized. The first one is like on an A minor 7 chord shape. Now what I do is I just lay my finger flat across my my index finger flat across the fifth fret. Uh, I'm fretting the fifth fret on the E string, but I'm lightly touching across the rest of the string. I'm not fretting the whole. I'm not fretting all the way across. So the pressure is much lighter on the D and G strings where I access the harmonics. Now what harmonics are you getting on those strings? Well, that's going to be an A, and a D, and a G. Because on the 5th fret, the harmonics are the same as the string name. Right. So A, D, G. That gives you a kind of sus chord. I'm not going to use my C string today because uh, many of you might be playing on a 4 string. So I'm just going to show you what you what is possible on the four string so uh yeah like i said that's like a kind of sus chord with a seventh in it uh okay let's go to the next one take your little finger and we're going to place your little, that on b on the seventh fret of the e string and what we're going to do is we're going to lightly stretch back and we're going to lightly touch across the fourth fret to access the harmonics there. So that gives us that sound. And the harmonics on the fourth fret are the same as the fretted notes. So that would be a C sharp harmonic, F, harm, F sharp harmonic, and a B harmonic. So you're getting C sharp, F sharp, B. Okay. Now, uh, so you're getting B, C sharp, F sharp, B. So essentially, again, you're getting a ninth chord here. This is a ninth chord, and it has no major or minor properties. There's no third in there. So uh, it's kind of nice because you, it could work in a, it could work in a in a situation where you need to play a major chord as well. Or it could work in a situation where you need to play a minor chord. So that's kind of handy. Um, and then following on from that, we're going to slide up and swap our fourth finger for our second finger and just slide up, get this transition, so that we're playing a C on the eighth fret with our second finger. And then we're going to lightly touch across the strings on the seventh fret with our first finger. And again, seventh fret also um, 
the harmonics on there are the same as the fretted note except of course they're a couple of octaves higher so here you have C E D uh, sorry C E A and D um, so let's look, have a look at that, it's a 6-9 chord because you've got C, major third is E you've got the 6th A and you've got the ninth D that's one of my favourite chords um, ok so that's the A string so I would suggest just just having fun with those um, and then uh, once you got comfortable with that move on to the A string pattern here which is actually using a chromatic here we're going to go from D on the A string 5th fret and we're going to lightly touch across the 7th fret with our pinky on the, G, uh, on the D and G strings so that gives us a D a D uh, sorry, D, A, and D. So it's just just root fifth octave. And then we're going to play the sixth fret with our second finger, and we're going to lightly touch across the fifth fret on the D and G strings, so we get the harmonics there. It's going to give us a D and a G. So essentially what you're getting there is a major 7 chord because you've got the major 3rd and you've got the 7th in there. It's pretty, very pretty. And, uh, and then the final chord is similar to the B chord we played before, the same fretting but from the A string. So we've got E in the bass and then we're going to touch across the 4th fret with our 1st finger to get the harmonics so that's going to give us E, F sharp, B again, it's like a ninth, but it has no major or minor 3rd in it there's no 3rd in it at all uh, there's no 7th in it either so it's a very open chord um, it's open for interpretation um, and those are those are the chords. Okay, so what I'll show you next as well, um, but I'll in, I'll adapt it for the fourth string, is uh, the little harmonic glissando that I play. And we'll do that. We'll do that from the G string uh, through to the A string, and then the, the uh, D string through to the E string. And here, what I'm doing is I'm touching consecutively on each string: fifth fret, fourth fret, third fret. So fifth fret G string, fourth fret D string, third fret A string. Um, which gets you a very pretty sound. So. So you got a G, you got a uh, F sharp, and then you got an E. So that's basically like an E minor nine. Right? And then I'm doing the same thing down a string. Same pattern, but going from the D string. So there you're going to have a D. C sharp and B. So like a B minor 9. So put that in context. That's what you get. Okay, so 
Anyway, um, hopefully that has given you some insight into um, where harmonics are on the neck, and it gives you a fun little groove to play to play with. Um, and uh, you know, like I said, you get the tabs at my website. You can download the track as well. Uh, it's out on iTunes, um, and the direct link below takes you to my CD Baby page. Um,